This is absolutely crazy to see it like this, guys. Alright guys, so it's return to the Toys R Us. One year after they closed, in fact, I, I believe they closed at the very end of June last year, and it is now July, so um, a little over a year after they closed. I'm actually really amazed that the signs are still up. I mean, they don't turn them on anymore, obviously, but you can see the signs are still up here. And around the side of the building over here, they are as well. I'll show you. Um, for anybody who has not seen any of my videos documenting this location, this Bargmax over here, that used to be Kids R Us back in the day. It's all part of this whole building here. And yeah, you can see the, uh, the big sign is still up over here. I mean, I thought they would have taken this thing down by now. I don't know if there's maybe some kind of a benefit in uh, potential buyers, leasers, uh, knowing that this was a former Toys R Us. I just really don't know. But uh, yeah, I remember shopping here over the years. Never really bought a whole lot. I mean, they were a really expensive store. But, uh, but I did do some shopping here. I bought Christmas presents here, and even when my kids were you know, older, I came out here and I bought us all remote control cars. That's just a couple years ago, probably 2015, 16, something like that. And one memory I have of this store is it was Christmas time and it was Black Friday. And there was a line starting at the front doors going all the way up to the road up here. That's Whipple. And then all the way down. I mean, it must have gone a hundred yards down Whipple. And, and I mean, it was like a whole, like a line of ants. I came in here and I parked in the parking lot. Somehow with all those people, there was a place for me to park. And I parked and I got out and I'm standing here looking at the doors. And I'm standing here looking at this huge line of people. And there was probably about four or five of us standing out here just in the parking lot looking at this line looking at the doors knowing they were going to open any minute <laughs> and with all this line when they open the door i look at the guy beside me and i go i'll do it if you will and he was like all right let's do it so we made a beeline to these doors and went straight in and boy the people in this line were pissed they were so mad we're gonna go in here in a minute I actually had the opportunity to go in and walk around do a full walkthrough in there the other day you guys may have may have seen my video that I posted already um, what did I call it haunting images and uh, and some people were like that's not scary it's not supposed to be scary it's haunting because if you are used to um, shopping at a Toys R Us and seeing it how it was supposed to be seen, you know, back in the day when it was all full and stuffed with toys and kids and people shopping, that's what's haunting about it. To see it now empty and just a shell of what it used to be. And, uh, and I think that was a really good video. I tried to make really slow movements and everything, get really good shots. But uh, yeah, let's look around the side here because if you guys remember... Last year, I actually came out here when it was snowing um, because these places always become a dumping ground and I just wanted to see what was going on out here. And it was the same thing. Okay, yeah, looks like they've cleaned it up. But there was a lot of trash. Like people had just come back here and dumped off TVs and just bags of trash, all kinds of stuff all the way down. You can see all this shattered glass here and a little bit of uh, garbage still. But, yeah, that's, I mean, that's what happens to these places. So, there's really nothing to see on the outside here. So, let's go ahead. I'm going to cut to the footage where I was able to walk through the other day and uh, let you guys enjoy that. It's just a walkthrough with commentary just like this. So, hope you guys enjoy.
This is absolutely crazy to see it like this, guys. Okay, used to be when you walked in the door, this was all chock full of toys and stuff. And this was, uh, I don't know like how they decide what they're gonna put in each place, but I think this was probably stuff they wanted you to see, obviously, when you first walked in the door. Stuff that maybe they otherwise wouldn't be selling so fast, but when you walk in, you're like, oh yeah, there's a Hatchimals right there. And then, of course, they always had, like, uh, over on this wall, it was the outdoor toys. You know, they had, like, the tags where you could pick a tag and then you could go get the uh, the kids, I don't know, sandbox or, or playhouse or something like that. Look at this. This is totally crazy. The last thing I bought in this store was a was a birthday gift for my granddaughter. Look at this, absolutely nuts. There's, it's funny because they still have some of these hanging up. <laughs> And I love to look like at the ground and see all the little remnants. Zoomer, Paw Patrol. Look at this, just completely stripped down. Here's the play chaser thing. I think this was something that you scanned actually but I'm just not sure. Yeah, look at this. I know they had some baby stuff in the front here. They had like Legos over in this area. I remember standing over here, maybe it was over here, and I was playing with some kind of like Bigfoot or Sasquatch toys or something. And yeah, over here is where they had like the Legos and the science stuff. I remember they had a, a setup right over here. It would have been at the corner of this right here. And it had those giant crayon banks. <laughs> it's so crazy just to be able to walk through here and reminisce about this place. All the girls' toys were over there on that side, and like the boys' toys were over here. Right back here, they had uh, kids' clothes and cribs and, and stuff like that. Oh yeah, you can see the baby's face back here. Let's go back and look at the restrooms and see if, see if the uh, things are still on the doors. <laughs> yep, they are, look at this, guys. Oh my god. Girls <laughs> and boys. Oh, and men. <laughs> Authorized personnel must be a. Yep. Okay. Yeah, this is just. It's crazy to see this. We'll poke back there in a minute. Yeah, they still have some of the things up here. Humidifiers, safety carriers. There's your baby face. Sheet sets, kids bedding. Look at this. Oh my God, this is cool. Pint size heroes. And it's horror things. Look, we got Chucky. I don't know who that is. Maybe Carrie. The Gremlins. Freddy. <laughs> Jason. It. Pennywise, I guess you'd say. Pinhead. That's cool. Okay, so yeah, this was all, uh, like I said, you know, the kids' stuff back here. There was like strollers and, uh, and baby seats and all kinds of stuff like that back here. <laughs> wow, it, it's just so crazy to see it like this. And I love seeing the unfinished edge 
of these floors. You know, that's the stuff that they hide and, uh, and they make everything look good. But yeah, strollers and, and baby seats and cribs and everything back in this area. Amazing. Okay, now this was a really cool stuff back here, guys. Like right here, when you stepped in here, this was the start of all those cars that you could ride on. You know, like the big power wheels and... All right, what's this? Thomas and Friends. A upholstered furniture. That was probably like a Thomas chair or something. All right, let's see right here. Okay, activity ride on. Yeah, activity ride on. And this was like, as you turned right here, you saw all the really cool ones. You know, the ones that as an adult, you still want to get on and ride. <laughs> there was like the Porsche and the big, the big uh, monster trucks and stuff like that. This was a cool store, man. All right, let's see what this is. John Deere Ground Force. It was probably a, a riding tractor. A ball. The last ball thrown in Toys R Us. <laughs> I'm such an idiot. <laughs> okay. And then as you come around this corner here, this was all the bikes. There was all kinds of bikes just stocked on every level back here. So, oh look, we got a, wait, look at this guys. <laughs> Buckle up. This is like how you size up for what kind of bike you should ride. That's pretty cool that that's still there. And then look at this over here. We got the sign for bikes up here. There's nope, nothing on the other side, but it's just it's so crazy to see it like this. All out of bikes at the Toys R Us. And look at all this stuff on the ground. I love seeing stuff like this. Zip ties, <laughs> a couple of Allen wrenches. Ripstick. Razor. Here's a receipt. Let's see what that is all about. Um, somebody bought a Lipton iced tea. <laughs> okay, that's not fun. But yeah. All the bikes were up here. Let's see if there's still some... I noticed there's a lot of price tags on some of this stuff. Okay, here we go. Well, 14-inch boys Avigo burner. Price as marked. All this stuff, here we go. All these bikes would have had these tags on them. Yep, to buy this item, take it to the cashier. Paw Patrol Blue Dog Bike. <laughs> Bikes as far as the eye could see. Here's a razor flag here you would have put on the back of your bike. If you guys watching still ride bikes, give me a thumbs up. <laughs> Get the right size bike. Yeah, look at all this stuff here. Just little remnants. What's this kind of stuff? Take to cashier tags. Those bags. Huh. Pretty amazing, guys. Yeah, look at this. Just wide open and empty. Oh my God. What a sight. Just empty shelves. Look at this. Nerf. They used to have the Nerf guns and stuff on the stuff on these shelves. <laughs> What's this one? Stats blasters, play balls, ball pits. Man. Yeah, I remember there was like dolls and girl toys on these shelves here. You know, all these markings you see here, that would have been all girls' toys there. And then over here, this would have been like, uh, well, like you saw the Nerf guns, action figures. Look at this. 
WWE Transformers Dinosaurs. What's this one? DC Comic Figures, Power Rangers, Batman. Yep. And over right in this corner here, I remember specifically, there was all the remote control cars. Because I came in here one year for Christmas and bought my kids all uh, remote control cars. And it was freezing and we still went out and ran them around. This was action figures here. I remember looking at uh, Pulp Fiction action figures right here. Let's go look at this. Eh, look at this. Beyblade. Back again. Monsuno. Huh. Pretty amazing. And I know they had like, I don't remember, it was like a superhero thing up here, almost like a canopy that you walked through. And then you were in this area with all these superheroes and there was, uh, I think there was Star Wars stuff set up here. What's this here? Fan Vault. Yep, that's, here we go, collectible figures. Infinity dress up. <laughs> What's this? Talking Tim the Minion. Yeah, there's the Star Wars thing up there still. Pretty amazing. I remember they had like all these action figures here. Well, I don't know if you call them action figures, but they were like um, Kevin from Home Alone and they had. Uh, Oh, Freddy Krueger and uh, Pennywise. I remember uh, the Child's Play doll being over here and stuff. What is in here? This is something you couldn't have done when they were open. <laughs> Look at this. Like DVD and game cases. It's just so amazing to see this stuff, guys. What all is in the trash here? Clearance. Eye drops, we don't want those. Look, that would have gone on a balloon. Toys R Us gift card. What's this? Uh, nothing. Hmm. <clears throat> and then as you came over here, here, this was where all the video games were. I remember they had like dro uh, drones and stuff over here and electronics. Okay, yeah, look at this, guys. Gran Turismo. Never know what you're going to see when they pull these, uh, these things apart. What's that tag? Rock Candy Control Xbox 360. 1999. That's pretty wet in there. Top Spin 3 for Nintendo DS. Yeah, look at this. Amazon Fire TV, Galaxy Tabs, Samsung Tabs, Polaroids. Look at all that. Look at this, look at this, guys. <laughs> this display is still here. That's pretty amazing. This is where they locked up the good stuff. <laughs> Amiibos. Price checker. Yeah, this is where you had to pay for all your uh, electronic stuff. I remember when the PS3 came out, coming in here and and uh, talking to them to try to see if I could pre-order one, and they were they were not taking any more pre-orders. Let's take a peek in here. Electronics and stuff. Toys R Us, Toys R Us help desk. 
2018 calendar. That's her from last, last year, obviously. Okay. All these checkouts, look, the lights are gone. Let's go back here in the stock room quick. I want to make sure that I get that for you guys. It's so strange just making a straight beeline across here where there used to be all those toys and shelves. Okay, how do we get back here? Here we go. Okay, yeah. Man, this place is huge back here. Look at this. I've never been back here before. I mean, obviously, I didn't work here, but... Look, we got some of these things up here. Animal Planet. Oh, here's all the tags. I wonder if this is just where they prepared all this stuff. Bikes and Finding Dory bike. Back here. More stuff. They definitely made use of every inch of space they had here. Enormous place in here. Okay, now this is kind of cool. These pegboards, looking at them at this angle, it just looks like wood. But when you get up here, you can see through them. <laughs> so, look at this. Yeah, you can see straight through them, almost like they're not even there. So employees would have been able to just stand back here and watch. And be like, is he stealing it? <laughs> Oh my god. I almost tripped on a bolt. Look at this. This is what you gotta be careful of, guys, when you're out doing this. Stuff like that. A bolts sticking up from the floor. I've tripped on a few of them. Look at that shot right there. Straight out into the empty haunted store. That is nuts, man. Look at this sign. Girl and boy, very happy for toys. It's <laughs> back here. Oh, electrical. That's it. Huh. Pretty amazing, guys. Let's walk back out through the store and finish this up here. <clears throat> Wait, sorry. Here's another ball. High bounce pinky. Must throw ball. Bye, ball friend. <laughs> I didn't go in here yet. Employees only. Oh, this would have been like the break room. Yep. Probably employee of the month up there. Look at this disheveled phone here. It's stuff like that that you're like, why is it even like that? The store was just open. <laughs> I wonder if this was like an employee of the month thing. It looks like that probably had pictures up there of people. Is that Velcro? Yeah. Soft and fuzzy. All right, let's head back out here. Here it is, guys, one last time. The big, open, empty, haunting floor of the abandoned Toys R Us.
crazy. All right, guys, very last thing we're gonna look at here, naturally, the checkout stations. One lone cart. And here's all the checkouts, guys. The lights are all gone from the checkouts. Customer service right there. Kinda spooky. Hmm. Yep. That's it. Guys, look, this is one of the only things left in here that I've really seen the logos on. Use some kind of scanners. Oh, yeah. Boop. All right, guys. Well, that was the last look inside the Toys R Us here. One that I used to shop at. Absolutely crazy to see it like this. And I am so excited that I was actually able to get in here. Um, and I was able to get in here because of a friend of mine named Bill Smith. He and another friend of mine, Sherry Spickler, run a Facebook page called Retail of Yesterday and Today. If you guys want to hop over there and check it out, like the page, and uh, you can see all kinds of pictures and awesome stuff like this. All right, guys, that's it. I'm out. I'll see you later. Peace.